Hi, Lick Wilmerding, prospective students and families or visitors. My name's Natalie. I'm a Tiger ambassador and a senior here at Lick. It was really important to us as students that prospective families got a chance to experience as much of Lick as they could, even though we're in a pandemic. And so what we've done in the next half hour you're about to see is walk you through the virtual tour, but we threw in our own anecdotes, told you our favorite moments that happened in these spaces. So the campus feels alive to you. Lick is a school that is abuzz with energy and excitement and so much going on. And we know that can't be captured in a virtual tour. So we hope you'll join us to hear our stories and hear our experiences in these spaces. Um, and so you can begin to imagine a little bit more of yourself at Lick. Uh, this is what the map looks like. You can find it on Lick's website and we'll be taking you through all the different spaces. We're really excited you've chosen to learn more about Lick. Um, and I can't wait to tell you about my experience. Hey everyone, thank you all for joining us on this tour. We're gonna to start by introducing ourselves quickly and then get into the tour. Um, so my name is Teresa, I'm in 12th grade or a senior. I use she, her pronouns and I went to Parkway Middle School. Hi, I'm Matthias. Um, I'm a junior, I use he, him pronouns and I went to Live Oak Middle School. Hi everyone, my name is Natalie. I'm a senior, I use she, her pronouns and I went to Redwood Day School in Oakland. Hi everyone, I'm Ella. I'm a sophomore. I use she, her pronouns and I went to Chinese American International School. Hi, I'm Will. I'm a sophomore. I use he, him pronouns and I went to Star of the Sea School. Hi, I'm Callie. I'm a junior. I use she, her pronouns and I went to Berks. Hello, I'm Sakani. I am a sophomore. I use he, him pronouns and I went to Marin Country Day School. My name is Justin. Uh, I'm a senior and I use he, him pronouns and the middle school I went to is Crocker. Thanks everyone. So now we're gonna get into the tour. So Ella, take it away. Hi everyone, welcome to the main lobby. This is the first space you walk into and see when you enter Lick. Um, right now we're looking at the front desk. We have amazing people working at the front desk. You kind of go to them with any general questions that you have. Um, moving on over to the right, we can see a bunch of cushions and this is my favorite place to meet my friends in the morning. We all come in at kind of different times and so we'll all meet each other on the cushions and then walk to class together. Um, and then you can also see the admissions office on the right. And if you keep moving over, there is the hall of offices with the head of school's office and the head of admissions office. Um, Lake is in a really amazing spot in the city because we have a BART station right um, across the street down the road and we have a bus station right outside our campus. Um, so it's super easy to get to no matter where you're coming from. Um, and in general, this space is just a really great community space for everyone to meet and come together. Um, and now we'll move on to our next space. Okay, so this is the center and the center is hub to anything club or event related. That means if you wanna join a club, learn about any clubs, that also includes student council. Um, they're also in charge of events like dances, Peer Connect and TGIF along with PPP. It's also a great place to hang out with your friends. It's super cozy and they have like bean bags and stuff and they always have candy, which is super awesome. Great, so Sakani so touched on uh, PPP or the public purpose program at Lick. Um, so the public purpose program starts your, your frosh year at Lick. Um, and there you kind of just get affiliated with um, Lick's mission to kind of serve. Um, we're a private school with a public purpose. And so we uh, get into these assigned groups and we usually go out and do different volunteer opportunities and we learn about different social justice issues. Um, and then your sophomore year is when you actually kind of get active. And so uh, you have assigned 40 hours of service work and you can do 10 of those um, actually at LIC. So maybe you're helping with the CAF or you're helping in the center, just doing anything around campus or you're working admissions events 
events. Um, and then the remaining 30 hours you would do outside of Lick somewhere. And the center is always hosting different volunteer events. I know I got a majority of my hours based on center events. So maybe we go to the pumpkin patch um, and work there for the day, or we went to an urban farm and planted things. And so it's just a really great way to uh, kind of solidify uh, Lick's mission and also get involved in different volunteer work. And so your junior and senior year, it looks a little different because uh, the public purpose program is actually incorporated into the curriculum. And so you might take a public purpose music class or a psychology class and there you either get internships or you, um, you know, you have volunteer opportunities within that class, but uh, all four years at Lick, uh, the public purpose program is present. Um, and outside of that, the center is also just a really great place to get art supplies or like Sakani said, um, you know, hang out with friends, there's board games and things like that. So it's just a really great space um, to you know, be in. All right, so this is the music room, which is the home to all vocal and instrumental music classes at Lick. And we, Lick offers classes of all different like genres and levels. For example, we have like both jazz and classical groups. And I know that Lick offers like a bunch of classes for like new instrumentalists, which I think is really nice. And this is actually one of my favorite rooms because I took chamber orchestra on my frosh here. And it was just a really amazing way to like interact with music in a new way because I was able to like work with people in like different ways and we actually were able to go off campus one day on a field trip and we went to a nursing home and we played like maybe 30 minutes of music for them and it was just really nice being able to like use music in that way that I never thought I would be able to. Welcome to our art studio. Um, this is where our drawing and painting classes take place, but a lot of other classes um, are in this space as well, such as CMA, a class you're required to take as a frosh, where you'll, where you'll get basic exposure to architecture, collage, digital photography, drawing, film, and painting. And I never really considered myself an art person, but after CMA, I am really excited about pursuing um, more art classes at Lick. Um, we've got like mixed media, again, drawing and painting, um, and they're all centered kind of in this room, in this area. This is one of our science labs. So science at Lake starts with your frosh year where you take bio and then your sophomore year where you take chem. Um, and it will happen in a classroom that looks like this. Something I love about this classroom is the two different spaces we have. So we've got the kind of traditional tables and the seats up front with the whiteboard so the teacher can um, have lessons there. And then we've got this amazing lab space for you um, to really experiment with anything you want to. We've got access to amazing equipment um, and there's lots of different opportunities with different science classes that I think Teresa is gonna go in depth about. Yeah, so um, adding on to Ella, after your sophomore year of chemistry, uh, you get a lot more choice um, in what science class you want to take. So my junior year, I especially enjoyed science because it was the first time I actually got to choose my classes. And while I loved bio and chemistry, um, I really wanted to explore some of the different sciences that uh, Lick offered. So I actually took marine ecology. Um, and something I love about Lick science is how immersive it is. And so everything is hands on. And there's just so many opportunities to use the different um, materials in the science lab, which I honestly didn't have a lot of experience with um, before coming to Lick. But uh, it was such an amazing opportunity to be in marine ecology because we had monthly field trips, we were constantly doing dissections, we would play games. Um, so there's just so many different elements to science class that went well beyond the textbook that I really enjoyed. Um, and so I'm going to open up the photo gallery here and you can just kind of get a glance at, um, you know, the different science classes uh, that are offered at Lick. So here's actually, I took, I doubled in science my junior year um, and I'm still doubling in science this year. So this is a psychology class and it was, you get like uh, paired up with someone and they control your different nerve movements, which is super cool. Um, theater. So the theater is a place where if we have any assembly or anything like that, all school or just grade wide, this is gonna be the main place that we're gonna be meeting. But more than that, it's a place for like performing arts. Lick has a really awesome performing arts program and this is where they're gonna end up performing. So that includes anything from like bands, there's jazz band, orchestra, plays, um, 
let's see, dances, and even like one acts, which are something that are a little bit more unique. In freshman year, I was in big band. And so I actually performed here, I think twice, which was pretty fun. Um, I mean, the first time I was actually really scared to get up on the stage. I mean, at middle school, we definitely did have performances, but like not on as large of a scale. But once you really get into it um, and the crowd like starts cheering and everything like that, it's just a super fun experience. And the Lix Theater especially is super immersive and um, a super special place to be. All right, so this is our library. As you can see, we have a whole bunch of books here and the library also offers a bunch of resources for you to do research projects. For example, we have a subscription to New York Times for some news and info. We have a subscription to Noodle Tools, which is like kind of like a citation website. And then we also have Canopy, which is kind of like an educational Netflix. And I really love this space just because of how like homey it is. It's really comforting. And it's just a really nice space to get work done. Whenever I have a break, I'll always come in here and there's some quiet spaces in the back where I know I can like focus and get my work done. My all time favorite spot in the library is just like in between the bookshelves. There's just some spots on the floor where you can just like lay down. You can even like take a nap there, but it's just a really relaxing spot that I love to go to in my free time. And this is Frosh Hill. So this is pretty much kind of like a tradition for all incoming Frosh to like sit here on like kind of like the opening days of school. And this was really like helpful for me because I was the only one who came from my middle school to like, so I was super scared of just like meeting new people and just like the social aspect of it, kind of like going into a new environment. And like, I think the most thing I was stressed about was just who am I going to sit with at lunch? You know, like who am I going to just be around during my free time? But Frost Hill really kind of alleviated that stress for me because I knew I was going to sit at Frost Hill and I actually ended up sitting next to the people like I had some people that I kind of knew and I ended up sitting with them on the first days and they, they ended up becoming some of my best friends today. Yeah, and just adding on to what Will said, besides being kind of a, tra a lick tradition that all the frosh will sit on this hill, these turf areas are an amazing place to just sit and read a book um, during your free period. If you have one coming out here and studying, hanging out with your friends. Um, I love Lick's campus because it's big, but it's enclosed. So you don't have to leave the campus to go to any other of your like classes. And Frosh Hill is kind of in the center of it. So during passing periods, you can see people that you don't normally talk to, teachers and just say hi. Um, and this is one of my favorite places on a sunny day to just sit with my friends and hang out. Great, so this is the garden. Um, this is a really nice space to kind of just relax and maybe sit out with your friends and eat lunch. Um, I always really enjoy coming out here on sunny days and you know, it's just very serene. Um, and I feel like sometimes it goes a little unappreciated, but luckily there's some clubs who come up here and enjoy the space. So we have gardening club. We also have beekeeping club, which I think is really special to lick. Um, and every spring they uh, actually sell their honey, which is super good, I've heard. Um, but yeah, this is just, you know, a really nice place if you can come out and you're free and maybe read a book. You can also see uh, the gym right here. And so um, it's a really nice space for natural light to come in. Um, so sometimes when we have assemblies or, you know, if the frosh are doing yoga or, you know, playing different sports in the gym, uh, it's kind of cool that there's so much natural light. But yeah, the garden is just, you know, a quiet place to come and relax. Um, and then you also have the business office right up here. Um, and yeah, that's pretty much it. Okay, so this is the shop's courtyard. And more specifically, I think I'm talking about the um, electronics and fabrication shops. These two shops are usually overshined by like the wooden metal shops because that's where the, all the big machinery is. But I think these shops are like extremely interesting as well. Um, in your tour of all the shops, which is called D&D &D in your frost year, I think it will be talked about um, later on, you get to tour both of these shops as well as the wooden metal shop. And I really enjoy the electronic shop personally, because it kind of lets you see how everything works. You know, um, I had to rig up a lamp to go in like a circle with a light. Um, and I was really confused. But Mr. Kleindorf kind of taught me how to like solder it all together. And I just found it super interesting how just like connecting it. See, that's an example of soldering. How like connecting it with other metal could like 
on the circuit board could make it all go around in a circle. I just thought that was super cool to kind of see the inner workings of um, all the stuff that we're building. So now we're in the third floor breakout space. This is one of many at Lick in the new building, which is super nice. And so there's lots of different ar arrangements of them. This one is like a closed room with one table. Then further down the hall, there's open ones with lots of tables. And so students like to use these spaces for doing homework or meeting with teachers. Or sometimes I even like to hang out there in my free block and watch movies on the TV. Another place at Lick where students love to hang out is the cap. And at Lick, it's strictly called the CAF, not the cafeteria, cafe, or anything else. And so at Lick, we're super lucky that lunch is included with tuition. So there's no need to worry about bringing money or worry about if you're bringing lunch from home. It's just all here, which is super nice. And so each day you get to choose between the hot lunch, a salad, a soup, or a sandwich. And there's also lots of snacks like chips and cookies and drinks. Um, I personally love to sit in the CAF and I sit here every day at lunch. And um, what's super nice about Lick is that we do have off-campus privileges. So people like to go to the Whole Foods or the Beef's Burgers, but most people stay and actually eat here because the food is super good and everyone just loves to see each other during lunchtime. What's your favorite Lick lunch, Callie? I'd have to say mine's the teriyaki chicken or the Caesar salad. What about you, Matias and Justin? Probably the pesto pasta, really good. Uh, I like the to get like the vegetarian option for the chicken Caesar salad and they like get these like very good seasoned portobello mushrooms instead of chicken. Um, yeah, that's that's a good one. So. My favorite is definitely the Mayan chicken with the black yeah. beans. That one's really good. So you might try new things like new foods in the calf and you also might try new activities at Lick. Um, and so this is our dance studio. Lick has a world class dance program with an amazing teacher named Miss Robinson Scott. And we dance in so many different disciplines here. We do classical ballet, we do African dance, we do hip hop, we do jazz, we wear costumes, we choreograph our own pieces. Um, and here you can see some practices and some photos from student dance performances. And when I came to Lick, uh, my parents actually joked that I was a triple threat because I couldn't sing, dance, or act. Um, but I decided to launch into it and try anyways. Um, and I ended up dancing for my first two years at Lick. Uh, and it, it, it's just an amazing way to meet new friends and put yourself out there in a new way. Every year, our dance troupe travels to Pittsburgh for the uh, National High School Dance Competition. Um, and there's so many opportunities to pursue dance both in and outside of the classroom at Lick. So this is the college counseling office. Um, this is the lobby of the college counseling. And then to the right, which you can't see in the tours, we have three different offices for our three different college counselors. And so that means that each college counselor isn't working with too many kids. So it's a super personalized, super individualized experience. You feel like your college counselor knows you and is gonna help you make really good decisions for yourself. Um, but the thing about college counseling at Lick is that a Lick education sets us up so naturally well for college that the college counseling itself is a really small part of the Lick experience. Um, and let me explain. When my friends were starting to stress about college in the fall of their junior year, or even their sophomore year, I, I wasn't because I knew that I was going to be able to move through the college process in a way where I would be supported by my college counselor and still get to enjoy my college experience. Colleges know that lit kids take rigorous classes, that they're good at trying new things, um, that they do sports and theater and intellectual activities. And because of that, lit kids get to go to college all over the country um, from really big schools to tiny liberal arts colleges but lit kids end up at what's right for them at lick we emphasize that there's no one right path you know i have friends looking at schools with 40,000 kids i'm looking at schools with 1800 kids there's such a range of places i could end up but because our college counseling department is so strong and so individualized um, I know I'm going to end up at the place that's right for me. All right, and here is one of the classrooms at Lick. Um, most of them look pretty similar to this, although this one specifically is a Spanish classroom. Um, I'd have to say one of my favorite classes at Lick is history um, and just the history department as a whole, um, because I feel like it like teaches history in a very unique way. 
Um, and I like really enjoy how they try to connect events of the past to today um, and how we kind of learn through how hi like the history echoes in the current events. Um, and I just think that saying like history rhymes really encompasses um, the like, history department. Cool. Yeah. Um, and like Matias said, this is a Spanish classroom, but all of our classrooms kind of follow this similar setup, which you can see in the video here at left, which is a teacher area towards the front of the classroom, um, and then student groups. You'll notice there's no rows, there's no individual desks, um, well, at least before coronavirus. And that's because collaboration is so central to the Lick classroom experience, right? So in math, the tables are circular and they're small, not because we can't have big tables, but because we choose to have small tables, right? So when you're doing calculus next to your friend, you're bumping elbows. You don't get to work individually. You have to work collaboratively. And because of that, you learn more. Um, and you'll also notice that teachers don't have individual desks. They're always up walking around the classroom, answering questions, being super accessible to students. So a lot of how learning works at Lick is kind of reflected in the way our classrooms are set up. Uh, what are your guys' favorite classes, Justin and Callie? Yeah, I'm gonna have to say like my US history class that I took junior year was one of my favorites. Um, similar to what Matias said, like I, I had Miss Gusfield and she does like a really phenomenal job of explaining how like current events that are going on um, have been like largely affected by things that have gone on in the past. So that class was really quite, quite fun. So, yeah. Similarly, my favorite class is also history, but I've also really enjoyed my Spanish classes, which I wasn't sure if I was going to because it was a new language for me. So this is the design and drafting studio. Freshmen have their first opportunity of exploring this classroom uh, when they take contemporary media and art. Um, and in that class, the freshmen get to explore all of the different visual arts classes that Lick has to offer. Um, so the primary visual arts class that is offered in the design and drafting studio is architecture. So um, these are just a few projects on the wall. Natalie is like passing one of mine. Yeah, her cursor is right under my project there. Um, and architecture is just like loads of fun. You get to learn about all the different architectural standards for residential buildings, public spaces. Um, and the teacher, Garanka, really like does a fantastic job of like fostering a very creative environment in this classroom. It's like one of my favorite places to just hang out after school. Um, and just check out like people's designs, people's drawings. Um, and yeah, so when you're a freshman, you'll have an opportunity to do an architecture unit, um, which will be in this class. And you all do you want to tell us about what's in this closet? Because I think that's yeah. pretty cool. Yeah. So that closet is just full of like all sorts of art supplies. And like, I love going in there and exploring, like, because you can find like all sorts of like hidden gems and like markers and like little tiny people to put on your models and like trees. And um, there's also like a stash of like old projects in there too. So I know like students in my class sometimes go in there and we'll look at other people's old projects um, to get inspiration for like what we're doing and also see like um, sort of like have some sort of marker to be like, okay, we got to make ours like better than this. Um, <laughs> so yeah, it's, it's a, it's a cool, cool spot in the studio. Um, so yeah, that's the design and drafting studio. Okay. So this is our gym, uh, newly remodeled floor, as you can see how, as how shiny it is. Um, you see all those banners on the wall. Those are all wins from tournaments or leagues um, or just placements in general. Um, so based on that, you can obviously tell that like really takes pride in sports programs. And we have over 30 and we practice at City College, which is across the street. Um, and there, there is two fields. Um, there's a swimming pool, there's a track um, and a few gyms as well. I think there's three gyms. So there's many opportunities for teams to practice. Um, and because of that, teams don't have to wait until like 6 p.m. to start practice um, because we only have one gym. We actually have multiple. So all, for example, all the basketball teams can practice at once. All the soccer teams can practice at once. Um, it's just a really great setup that we have and a really good deal we have with City College that we can use their facilities at any time. Um, as a freshman, I started playing cross country, which is definitely one of the most, 
what we're most competitive at in sports. Um, I, our girls team has won states two years in a row now. Um, so that's really great. Um, I personally am not like a super competitive runner. So that kind of, and I really, really enjoy cross country. It's not like, like has no cuts. So it's a very like welcoming environment, even if you're not trying to be the best. Um, there's a bunch of people that are just running to stay in shape. Um, and even the people that are running to be competitive, they're really nice. Um, and they'll help you if you have any tips. It's just a really great community. Um, and I highly recommend no matter what high school you go to, I'm doing a fall sport just to meet new people because all of my good friends today, I met through cross country freshman year in August. Yeah, and similar to Matias, I also decided to play a sport freshman year in the fall and I still play it. And so I play field hockey and I also play lacrosse in the spring. And so field hockey, like the program is only four years old. Um, it's super new. And so we're not super good yet, but it's really exciting because then each year we hit a new milestone. Like the first year it was like first goal or first win. And then it was like beating like one of the really good teams or like having like five wins or something like that. So there's something exciting to look forward to each year, which I think is really special about being on a new team. And also with that, um, it was a really nice way to come into Lick because the sports started before the school started. So I got to like meet a bunch of people in my grade, but then also have friendly faces um, in like the upperclassmen grades that I would see walking through the halls, which um, has continued to be true now that I'm an upperclassman. I like to think that I can be the person that the new freshmen see and like to say hello to in the halls, which is really special. I think that's how we met Callie actually, was at field yes. hockey before school started. Yeah. Nice. This is the rock climbing room. Uh, at Lick, we have a body-mind education program that all freshmen take. And one unit you do is yoga, but the other one you do is rock climbing. So we have this 30-foot wall that's on the side of the gym. Um, and while in the class, students just get to learn more about the sport and also build trust with one another, because uh, what Mr. Tespai, who is the climbing teacher, has you do is um, you belay each other, which is when you have one person tied in um, on these ropes here and another person with a device that's taking in the slack as you climb. Um, so you really build trust with your peers as well as, you know, explore a new sport. And it's really quite a lot of fun. Uh, personally, like I did not climb a lot before coming to Lick, but after I took this class, I ended up meeting a lot of people that climb competitively outside of school. And we've gone um, to Planet Granite, Mission Cliffs a few times together. And it's quite a lot of fun. Is there any other fun experiences that you guys had while you're doing rock climbing at Lick in the BME program? Well, for me, I know Matias definitely remembers this because we were in the same class, but um, I'm scared of heights. So if any of you guys are, don't feel worried about that because um, it took me a couple classes to get to the top. But I thought for at first I was like, oh, my goal for the end of the semester is to get to the top. And then I did after like two weeks. So um, because everyone was so encouraging and there's different levels of walls too. So, you know, you can like build up which one you're on. And I thought it was going to be really scary, but it ended up being a really nice way to make connections with people in my grade. Yeah. Speaking on Cali, so like the different levels of walls, like there's one, they're like ranked, I believe with numbers you can see there on the difficulty. So you had some people climbing on like the lowest level wall, and then you also had some people like hanging upside down on the hard one. So there's like a wide variety of things you can do. Uh, and Mr. Tess by the teacher is really great. Yeah, and also I forgot to mention, but we also have climbing club with which meets uh, Tuesdays and Thursdays during tutorial. Um, I sometimes go in there and it's like a good place to just like de-stress, do some exercise, you know, uh, and hang out with some of my friends that are into climbing. Um, yeah, I mean, just the climbing program in general is just a great way for like students to, I guess, like expand their boundaries and uh, you know, get over, get over fears. And it's a good, good metaphor for like the challenges that you'll face uh, in your academic classes and how they may seem scary, but um, you're in it together with your peers and, you know, your partner who's blaming you like, um, and you'll get through it together. So. Yeah. yeah. Like adding on to that. It's like, there's a lot of team building as well. I believe there were like a few games um, that we had to play 
where if we didn't finish it, we would like by the first class, we had to do it the next class and then the next class. So we would have to keep doing it until we got it right, um, which really embodies like the persistence of a Lick student. So this is the wood shop at Lick. Uh, freshmen are first introduced to the wood shop when they're freshmen, they do design and technology. Um, so the final project that the freshmen do in that class is building a lamp. And one of the requirements is that you incorporate some sort of woodworking element to it. Um, and the teacher for this class, Mr. Fall, he is quite the character, super funny guy, super nice. Make sure that you like know how to use your tools safely and effectively. Um, and is also like very supportive in the design process of like whatever projects you may be doing. Um, I know that when I was doing my lamp, uh, it was kind of a challenge for me in order to get the wood portion to be um, not too big because we did have uh, certain constraints, design constraints in order to like push our creativity. Um, and he's also super helpful when I took wood joiner and turning um, and I built or I started building a Windsor chair, um, but I unfortunately haven't been able to finish it due to COVID. But um, I know that when I go back, Mr. Fall is going to be like, super helpful. Um, and yeah, this is just another great, great place to hang out as well during lunch. Um, if now you want to scroll to the right a little bit. Yeah. Um, oh, to the, the other right. right. <laughs> uh, <laughs> There's like a bunch of like seating areas. This is like where like you'll have like uh, most of your like class meetings when you're like not working. And like sometimes people like to just hang out here and eat lunch with the shop's teachers. So um, I know Mr. Sam Horn, who is the photo teacher also spends a lot of time here. And he also um, has a lot of woodworking knowledge. So he is a very fun person to talk to. And we also have like a lathe to the left, which is like how you turn wood um, there's also a, a drill press, um, a CNC machine in the back, which is really cool. Like you can just like program some sort of pattern. It has like a drill that go around and like cut out, like it can cut out these super organic shapes. And something else to add on, um, I I'm not sure if this bench in particular is part of the PSPP class, but um, like there's a bunch of different classes at LIC that do some sort of PPP requirement, which was the public purpose program. And I know that in the past, uh, students have built benches for different like community organizations, um, but also not just benches, like they build all sorts of things like shelving units, signs and like um, things in order to just like help out the community. This is the metal fabrication shop. Um, and here, this is where you fabricate metal um, as the name goes. <laughs> um, yeah, so here uh, I took um, Rethinking Furniture, which is a class you can take sophomore year after you take DNT, which also takes place in here. You have to have a metal requirement similar to what Justin said um, in the wood shop. But for Rethinking Furniture, it's pretty much a class about how you can redesign furniture and we like study different pieces um, and think of ways to kind of make your own unique piece of furniture. So the first project where you kind of get your hands on is you have to make like something useful, like a small thing that's useful in your house. Um, and so I made a key holder that's shaped like a key. Um, <laughs> I don't have it with me right now. I believe it's still at school um, in one of those many drawers. But also uh, right in front of Justin is my chair that I made as a group. Um, that was our second project. Um, we were kind of, we were tasked with building a chair in three classes, um, designing and building. So um, as you can imagine, it was a very like rigorous few classes. Um, but it was really fun because you got to collaborate with your peers um, and also kind of bring out your creative side, uh, which happens a lot in the shops, a lot of like, learning by doing. Um, and I think that the shops really give you a good, um, good experience for life in general, and you learn a lot of good lessons. This is our courtyard. Um, and I want to talk about a few things here. First of all is Lick's social scene. Um, I think it's something that doesn't get talked enough and talked about enough kind of in the admissions process. Lick is a very accepting and inclusive and fun place. And I know you're like, no way, but I promise. And this is my way of proving this to you is one day at lunch, I walk out into this courtyard. It's a sunny day. A lot of us eat lunch outside. And for some reason, every single one of my friends was homesick that day. Doctor's appointments, meeting with a teacher, they just weren't able to have lunch with me. And I looked around and I kind of clicked for me for the first time my junior year that I could sit down with any other friend group at any other table and have a conversation with them and be fine. 
And I think that's pretty unique to Lick. I don't think I could walk into many spaces and feel like I could sit down with anyone and they wouldn't be like, you're weird. They would just chat with me. Uh, the other thing I want to point out about the courtyard is Lick is enclosed fully within one city block. It takes up the full city block. And that's pretty unique here in the city. You're not crossing streets to get from class to class. Everyone is contained within our block. Uh, the other group will talk about this, but on the west side of campus, we have all of this green space. Uh, there's artificial grass, there's places to lay in the sun, um, and it's really easy to forget that you're in the middle of a metropolis when you're here kind of contained in our little world of lick um, with all the green space and all of the open space. And I think the lick campus does a really good job of kind of bridging the urban aspects of being a San Francisco school with also being really outdoorsy. You can see all the greenery and all the trees we have planted. Thanks everyone. We hope you all learned a little bit more about the campus today. Uh, to close, we're all just going to share one thing about Lick that you may have not gathered from the other events. So mine is, um, you know, something I miss from being back um, on campus in person is the salad line or just kind of the community that would be at the salad line. Um, a lot of people pick the entree, and so it's a much smaller group uh, who I'd run into, and it's a time where I would catch up with teachers or classmates I hadn't seen in a while, um, and it's always really fun. Even though I'm only there for five minutes, I like talking to the people there, um, and definitely something I miss. Yeah, for me, I would say just kind of like the community events. Um, so, for example, last year there was this thing called Ping Tag, at Lick towards the end of the year. Um, I believe it got cut short because of COVID, which sucks. Um, but it was this thing where like everyone got assigned a person, like their target, and they had to take like a clothes pin and pin it on them. Um, and there were safe zones, like you couldn't do it in um, classrooms and things like that, um, just so things don't get too crazy. Um, but I think it was like a really fun experience and a really good way to like meet new people because you were assigned like random people in the school that you may not have talked to before. And I definitely had some conversations with my targets. Um, it's just a really fun experience. My off the tour experience favorite thing would be something my friends and I affectionately refer to as fruit time. Um, we have a 10 minute break in between the last two classes of the day and the calf always puts out like fresh, free, in season fruit. And so everyone just swarms the calf to like get an orange or an apple or a banana. And if you're lucky on a Friday, they might put out free cookies. And it's just like everyone in one place for 10 minutes, just kind of taking a break in between classes. And the energy is always really good. There's people playing music. It's just like a really nice way to get your second wind of energy before you go to the last class of the day. For me, I would say something special I think Lick does is TGIFs once a month or Thank Arts Friday. Um, and it's our monthly event, sometimes it's themed like winter or Valentine's Day. Um, and there's always like a snow cone machine out, there's music playing. Um, it's a great time to grab snacks with friends. Um, and I think it also just shows how like Lick kind of prioritizes their students' mental health and like kind of gives you a break from all the um, kind of the, all the academic stuff. And you just get to take a break with your friends. Yeah, so one of my favorite parts of Lick is probably this thing called tutorial, which is like a 50 minute period between like your first and second classes of the day. And it's like designed to meet with your teachers. So like it kind of helps to like bridge the gap between students and teachers and makes your relations with relationships with them like more comfortable and stronger. And if you don't want to meet with a teacher, it's just really nice because like you can just chill out with your friends and like my friends and I, we like to just like get some food from the cafe. And then we go outside and just eat together. And it's just a really fun time, like in the morning, because it can sometimes be hard to focus, but it's just really nice. For me, I'd probably say the dances at Lick are pretty fun. Um, they do a good job of encouraging like pretty much everyone to come to them. And they also have really cool locations. Like last year, our formal was at City Hall, which was super special. And I don't know any other place that's ever had a dance there. And this year they're hoping to have prom on a yacht. So definitely unforgettable experiences. Yeah, for me, it's a little bit smaller, but it's the candy in admissions in the center. Um, you know, they always have like a stock ready and it's just a super good way to get to know like the people who do a lot of the behind the scenes work, which you usually wouldn't get to talk to. 
and it's just awesome because they're super cool and so you get to have like cool conversations and grab a piece of candy during between classes yeah so one of my favorite things about lick is math cafe which happens like every lunch um in one of the math classrooms and basically like uh different math teachers will circulate there like um every day and it's just it's just fun to like hang out there and like do math and um talk with friends and um just get to know people that need help and help them out or get help and it's a good time so yeah great well thank you everyone for sharing um please if you have any more questions please reach out to admissions through our website um email or you could follow our instagram account at lwhs life to see what students are up to um and we post weekly so it's always fun to catch up on that but yeah thank you all so much Bye.